Yesterday was a rough day. I did not feel good. I was I was sick, downright sick. Um, at first, I felt like on Monday that you know it's going to be two days. It's my second day. I'm used. My body's used to having dialysis every other day, and Mondays I don't have it when they're in the every other day aspect. I should be having it. So I'm gonna have buildup of toxins and just feel like complete and utter shit. Um, and I did. But then I thought Tuesday I would feel better after dialysis, coming home, taking a nap. That did not work. I slept for like 17 hours last night. I was so tired and I had a low grade fever. Told myself if it hits 101, I was gonna go in and never did. It got close, 100.9. And finally this morning it was 99.5 and that was without Tylenol and I felt better and I was like, yay, maybe it's gone. But yesterday I met someone and I was really excited to meet this person. Um, she, I was told about her actually through my doctor, not giving names, but just kind of the general, general, um, idea of what she was going through. She is, you know, she was having kidney issues while she was pregnant and she actually ended up on dialysis while pregnant. And, you know, so I was really kind of hoping to meet her, um, at some point, but honestly, I didn't think I would ever meet her because I didn't know where she went for dialysis or if she was even still in the area. Um, but I met her yesterday and the way the doctor told me it sounded like she was, she had a young one like I do and, and that she was just recently going through this. Well, I come to find out that she has been doing this for, um, for about four years. Um, and while she was pregnant, it was every day and she's my age. Um, unfortunately for her, they don't know what's causing her her issues. But um, yeah, I was really excited to meet her. And then I wasn't so excited. And I don't know if it was just because I wasn't feeling good on top of her not feeling very well either but it seemed like once she got in to her chair it was just, everything was wrong it was just a lot of complaining and that kind of broke my heart because she seemed very positive about it you know she was excited to meet someone who was her age too that was going through what she's going through and um all of that but at the same time she just I I have very mixed feelings about her now um, could it be that I wasn't feeling good so I was crabby and just didn't want to be around people very well could have been could it be that mixed with that that she wasn't feeling good either she was she was sick on top of it you know there's so many different things that could have been going on that makes it to where it kind of made meeting this person so sad. You know, it just seemed like everything was wrong. Like, she needed tissues. She needed them now. She, you know, her her sight was very touchy. So, but I guess, I don't know. It just seemed like the machine wasn't on the right side. And I, I just... I don't know if it was because she wasn't feeling good or if it's just, you know, when you are on dialysis for that long, you kind of get into some sort of ritual? Would that be what it's called? A ritual? Schedule? Program? I don't know. Tendencies, I guess. Um, you know, I know that some people can't sleep on their back. Luckily, I can. So I can fall asleep in the recliners. Um, but some people can't. So, you know, hopefully 
I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I will see her again, actually, because we are on different days. And literally, the only reason why she was there yesterday was because of weather in the area on Monday. So I don't know if I'll ever see her again. I would love to. I would love to pick her brain and see, you know, how she did it with having a young child and and growing up and you know, now she doesn't have the port. She has a fistula, which was I got just placed this last Friday, you know. Does that work better? You know, how did how long was it before she had the port? I mean, you know, how old was her daughter? Or her, you know, before the fistula was used and the port was removed because the port's only temporary. Um, you know, one of the things that terrifies me is Gabriel getting a hold of those those tubes and just kind of yanking on them. I keep them pretty well covered when I'm at home, and they still have the uh, tegaderm over them. So, you know, I don't think he's gonna grab them. He'll probably grab the clothes that's over them. But you know, usually. He has a toy in his mouth or his hands in his mouth anyways so it's not like he's gonna grab it and go um but yeah i just kind of sad because i was really hoping that the first meeting would have been different and it just wasn't um so i truly i truly hope that it was just because neither one of us were feeling very good that just kind of set off things that normally wouldn't set people off in general so hopefully that if there is a next time you know it's more smiles and and more like oh I can relate to you and um you know I, I've been there or I'm going through that now or this is what I learned that helped me and because it's really hard to go through something like this even when you're prepared for it nobody can really can understand except for somebody else who's gone through it um, and 30 year olds that are on dialysis with young children just aren't common um, 30 year olds in general on dialysis isn't common anyways uh, so I get to the point where I can talk I, the people I can talk to who can they can't they still can't relate but they can sympathize or empathize because they know somebody who went with, through it their aunt or their mom or their grandpa or grandma or uncle grandpa dad somebody they know went through it and they dealt with that aftermath but they didn't deal with going through it themselves and I'm not saying that what they're going through isn't any, isn't easy either you know helping taking care of that person helping um, you know trying to be understanding when that person just doesn't feel good and they can't really explain why because that was that was literally my problem on Monday I just did not feel good I could not explain why I didn't feel like I was sick with like a cold or the flu or some sinus infection or anything like that I was just sick I was tired I was run down I just lovely diarrhea Hershey squirts right out the asshole I mean I was just not feeling good and I went to bed at 3 3 30 yesterday afternoon and didn't wake up till this morning so those who care for people who go through what I'm going through, they also, you know, they go through a lot themselves. And I, I don't know where I would be without those people who have been there for me. And who are continuing to be there for me as I'm going through this and as we figure out what the next step is. Um... We won't know much more about um, transplant options until the 25th. Um, right now, uh, I mentioned earlier that I got my fistula placed 
and I got that Friday, the Friday before Christmas. I went in and got that done, and um, my nurse checked it yesterday when I was at dialysis, and she said that it sounds great. So, fingers crossed that I won't have to have another surgery. Um, because a lot of times after the fistula is placed and matured, they have to do another procedure which will bring that vein that has matured. Because they take the vein and they attach it to an artery to thicken it up so it can withstand all of the, um, needle pokes for dialysis. Well, after it matures, there are times that they have to go in and they have to actually interrupt it by a text message. Um, but they have to go and move it up towards closer to the skin so it's easier to get a hold of those, to get a hold of it for the dialysis treatment. So hopefully I won't have to do that. Yep, I lost my train of thought now. So everyone have a good day.